Making Change, Lesson 4.10. When we use coins that are worth more than the price of an item, we get the extra money back as change. This little toy truck costs 48 cents. If we give the cashier two quarters that equal 50 cents, remember two quarters are 50 cents, we get change back, we get two cents. We count up to make change. We start with the total price, the 48 cents, and count up to the amount of money we're given. So if the truck costs 48 cents and we give 50 cents, we start with the 48 and say 49.50. That's two cents. That's the change. That's the difference between the money we gave them and the price. So we're still at our fruit store here that we had in the last video. You can see pears are 40 cents each, apples are 25 cents each, bananas are 15 cents each, and grapes are 95 cents for one bunch. So how much change would we get back if we bought one banana? And we gave the cashier two dimes. Remember, a dime is 10 cents, so we have 10, 20. We have 20 cents here that we gave. The banana costs 15 cents. You start at the 15 and you count up to 20. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's five cents change. Let's try this one. We want to buy one pair and they're 40 cents each. And we give the cashier two quarters. Do you remember what quarters are? And counting by 25, 25, 50. So that's 50 cents. How much change should come back? We start with the 40 and count up to 50. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. That's 10 cents change. Let's try this one. We want to buy an apple for 25 cents and we give a quarter that is 25 cents. How much change should come back? Zero. It cost 25 and we gave 25, so there's no change. How about here? We want to buy a bunch of grapes. They cost 95 cents for one bunch. We give the cashier a dollar. How much change should come back? Well, remember a dollar is 100 cents, right? We start with 95 and count up to 100. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. That's five. Five cents change. They could give us a nickel, couldn't they? They could give us five pennies. And we can count up from the price to make change. If a pencil costs 18 cents and we give the cashier a dime and two nickels, remember these are each five and five and five makes 10, doesn't it? So we have a 10 and a 10, that's 20. So we gave 20 cents and the pencil costs 18 cents. So what should our change be? We start with the 18 and we count up to 20. 18. 19, 20, two cents. We gave a dime and two nickels, and our change is two pennies. Okay? If we want to buy a paintbrush, and they're 21 cents, and we give the cashier a quarter, that quarter is 25 cents, isn't it? You start with the 21, and you count up to the 25. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 4. So the change should be 4 cents. It was 21 cents. We gave a quarter. We get 4 cents back. We get 4 pennies back for our change. What if we bought something that was 97 cents and we give the cashier a dollar bill? How much change should we get back? Well, remember, the dollar bill is 100 cents, isn't it? We start with 97 and count up to 100. 
97, 98, 99, 100, 3. So we would get 3 cents back. We'd get 3 pennies, wouldn't we? Okay? So the trick to counting to make change is you start with the price, the total amount, and you count up to the amount of money that was given. Okay? We're going to talk about money some more, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.